First up on the Beach Sessions, she enjoys in order to sing, play, and write. All the while learning to live and living to learn. You'll meet Kirsten Johnson. Kirsten Johnson, Thunder, Strathmore Thunder. You are the teammate of the Thunders. Fastball, right? I am, yep. Yeah. I pitch for the fast, uh, the Strathmore Thunder fastball team. You play first base as well? Yeah, first base, a little bit of outfield. Cool. Kind of make my way around. And you sing. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not playing fast pitch. Yeah, if I'm not playing fast pitch, if I'm not I'm working, singing. I'm singing. Which do you enjoy more? Not the it's working part. It's been a part. pretty even split, yes. split my whole life, but uh, music is definitely my passion. It's what I'm going for. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sports? How does that fit in? Uh, I've been an athlete my whole life. I played school yeah. sports. I, uh, I just graduated in 2014, so I'm still kind of getting into the real world. So this fastball season was a really good thing for me. What do you learn from being with a team? And I, here's why I'm, I'm asking the question. Yeah. Because as a performer... You're pretty much an individual. Totally. But when you're on a team, you're with a group of others. You rely on others. You have to rely on yourself and your abilities as a singer to be successful. Yeah, I think that um, what working on a team my whole life has taught me is that um, just just having to always push yourself. When you're on a team, yeah. you're always you're competing with your teammates. You're competing for those spots. You're competing just to be the best, and you're competing to win altogether. Yeah. When you're a solo performer, you have to compete against yourself. I don't think that if I wasn't on so many teams growing up, I wouldn't. I I wouldn't have learned how how to use that competitive drive to make myself better. Mm -hmm. So now I see myself as my competition in this light. On the ball field, it's a bit different, but it definitely goes hand in hand. I think. I've heard that we are our worst critics, that we critique ourselves more than anyone else out there can critique us. Same for you. Oh, definitely. I think that's definitely true. Um, whether it's uh, your hair, your makeup, how you sound, yeah. everything. You have to look at yourself in the mirror at the end of the day and are you proud of yourself or not? You have to be the one who says, yes, 100%, I gave my all to everything I did today. Strathmore girl. Yes. Your mother sings as well. Yeah. She's been singing in bands my whole life. Uh, even when she was pregnant with me, I think. Come on. For real, I used to like go to pancake breakfast with her and uh, I was like three. I'd like oh, play the maracas or the oh, tambourine. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, for real. And you loved it. Loved it. You said, I want to be there one day. And, Mom, I want to be on that stage. Yeah, so she let me up a few times. I only stole the spotlight a bit. Yeah. I was kind of cute, I guess. So here you are now. Do you ever bring Mom up stage, on stage, and say, Mom, come on, sing a little bit with me? Or she totally. needs to work on her voice a little bit. No, <laughs> she's a pro. Oh, my gosh, she's a rock star. Yeah. Um, I played the... Beer Gardens at the Alberta 55 Plus Summer Games this year. <laughs> yes, yes. It was actually really They hosted it in Strathmore. Awesome. And I got my mom up on stage with me oh. for like three songs a set. And she played guitar. We sang harmonies. We just jammed out the whole time. It was really fun. So your mom mm -hmm. is all about singing. Your dad, all about sports. Yeah. Only child. Only child. Love and life. Oh, yeah. I love my life. I'm very grateful for the, all, the, all the opportunities I've been given. So Yeah. We are going to hear you sing in a few moments. Very cool. You've chosen a song for us. Which one? Yeah, I'm going to be singing A Shot in the Dark. Um, it's a brand new song, actually. It's, it's kind of a journey song. It's been my journey kind of growing up this first year out of high school, mm. kind of adapting to the real world. It's about, I mean, there's a lot of hardship in the song. Yeah. But it's, it's really been like a kind of a revelation for me. This wow. is the one song that took me a long time to write because I didn't know what I was writing about at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just kind of sit down and you break down and you put it all together and say, this was really hard, but I'm going to be okay. It's a shot in the dark, but I'm going to be okay. Thanks. Thank you. Kirsten Johnson. <laughs>
been so lost Searching for love in places I know I don't belong And I've been waiting for you to tell me I'm not too far gone out in the cold to start again and just tell me I'm not not too far gone don't go just stay I'm begging you lay down beside me lay down beside shot in the dark but I know in my heart you could save me you could save me I felt the chills my body aches but I can't without the thrill the smell the taste and just tell me i'm not not too far gone don't go just stay i'm begging you lay down beside me lay down beside me shot in the dark but I know in my heart you could save me oh no I don't miss you no I don't just let me kiss you cause you feel so good oh no 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 I don't miss you no I don't just let me kiss you cause you feel Don't go, just stay high Begging you, lay down beside me Don't walk away, it's a shot in the dark But I know in my heart you could save me Oh, wow. don't go, just stay Say me Cause I have been so lost Searching for love in places I know I don't belong Still to come on The Beach Sessions a country singer from Standard, Alberta, who's found a home on the big stage. You'll meet Drew Gregory. Drew Gregory. Life is about balance. It is. Life is about uh, figuring, figuring out life. You are a guy who balances life and do, does it very well. <laughs> Got a few well, things going on. You, yeah. Well, you do. <laughs> Let's be real here. You've, you're, uh, you're a farmer. Yep. You're a musician. Yes. Um, you're a guy who's a family man. Yes. How do you balance your life? 
uh, just trying to, I mean, loving it all is, is a big help, you know, just kind of enjoying every part of it. I, I still love going out, working on the farm, and uh, when that kind of gets boring, then it's nice to, to go get up on stage and do the music thing, yeah. and, you know, you do that for a while, and it's it's kind of nice to come home to the family after that, and, uh, yeah, so, I mean, that's a big part of it is just enjoying each part of it, for sure. A lot of singer-songwriters will say that they're always looking for uh, things to write about, yeah. things to, to, to sing about. <laughs> <laughs> and you found those things. No shortage of things to write about. No kidding, life, eh? So, yeah, no, it's good. What is it about yourself that makes you so humble? Because I find I find you're a very humble, very introspective kind of guy. Yeah. Yet when you're on stage, man, you're just nuts. <laughs> but what what is it about you that is it is it your upbringing? Uh, I think that's got a big part of it for sure. And you know, again, just coming back to the farm, having that time to to wind down, that's always humbling too. And yeah. uh, sitting out on a tractor is a little different than standing up in front of uh, a few thousand people. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's a big part of it. My parents were always there, always great to me. Mm. Uh, my wife is is wonderful. She she's always ready to tell me if uh, you know if I'm getting getting too far does, out there. Does too, she really? So, yeah, she's <laughs> awesome. But yeah, pull it back. Yeah, yeah, you're too far. No, so it's. Uh, a Again, with the, the balance, I think that's all uh, all keeps me humble as well. She gets in your head sometimes, doesn't she? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. It's like, honey, you know what? I know you want to be a big star. Yeah. But remember, yeah, somebody's going to plow the fields. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And dad, dad uh, needs me back there too. So, yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's good to go back and, and do everything. So, uh, yeah, I'd say it's all, all part of keeping me humble for sure. What is music for you? Music for me, ah, man, just love. I just love it so much. I yeah. remember picking up my first guitar and, uh, you know, just never putting it down. Some some kids I know need to need that push and, you know, go take lessons and do that. I, I never took a lesson when I started. It was mm. all just uh, just what I wanted to do as soon as I got home from school. So I think just the love for it is uh, it's crazy. I couldn't picture myself not doing it, absolutely. Yeah, it's a way of expression. Yeah, absolutely it is too. And uh, that comes with the songwriting, uh, being down in Nashville as much as I've been down there, just kind of finding better ways to, to tell my own story. It's, mm -hmm. it's really cool. And yeah, I love the songwriting part of it. And uh, the stage, yeah, let a lot of energy out on the stage and stuff too. So yeah, it's, it's all those things. It's, if, it's if, a you, great thing. if you had a choice, mm -hmm. singer, songwriter, farmer. Man, that's Ooh. a tough choice. Singer, songwriter, farmer. I w I've always said every everything I do, the most fun I have is is on stage. So yep. I probably have to say singer. That's just where where my heart is. Every time I'm up there, that's where I really feel like home. Love those other things, yeah. and they uh, they also are things that get me onto the stage kind of thing. Yet you can't get on stage without uh, a few songs and, and knowing how to play guitar and, and practicing and all that stuff. But being on stage for me is, is where it's at for sure. Song you're gonna sing for us? Yeah, I wanna do uh, Hometown Feeling. It's uh, Love this song. It's a cool tune. Uh, ended up writing it with Mike Walker. It was kind of his hook and I said, you know, I got a lot of hometown songs. I was wondering uh, how can we uh, make it make it a little different? So what, yeah. if, what if the girl was uh, what gave you that hometown feeling? Even oh, when you man. weren't at home, what if the girl just kind of kind of brought you back to that same kind of warm feeling you get driving into your hometown? And uh, that's what we kind of went with. And yeah, it turned out great. He's a guy who understands balance. This is Drew Gregory. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Taste of your kisses, the sweetest southern sweet tea. You rock me, baby, like a crooked old front porch swing. You got a way of putting my mind at ease. You make it look easy. me like a country song I'm back on a back road every time you're riding along You roll the windows down to catch a bit of that fresh air Baby you take me there Give me that hometown feeling when I lay my head down next to you There's no doubt wake up in the Shining on a real good view. So now, baby, believe me, I ain't just 
town feeling when I lay my head down next to you. There's no doubt. Wake up in the morning with a sweet sun shining on a real good view. It's on now, baby. Believe me, I ain't just passing through. Oh, the way I see it, there ain't no beating the way you give me that hometown feeling. Still to come on The Beach Sessions. She calls herself a country and western entertainer that dabbles in traditional singing. You'll meet Mary Rezin. Mary Resick, Calgary born. You want to be successful in this business, you have to leave your hometown. You've heard that. I've heard that many times. Yes. Do you believe it? Uh, not totally. It all depends. You know, how do you measure success? So that saying is out there where you have to leave your hometown or your home country. And yeah. you, know, you hear of stories where people are going overseas and they come back and they're now known. So you hear those stories throughout, throughout history. So possibly true. I don't know how true. How do you measure success? And how do you measure success? For you is personally, it, is, it, is it a monetary thing? No, no. Okay. Uh, I measure it by if I feel what's right inside me and I can connect to my audience and it becomes a full circle. To me, that's the whole success. If you're, the more that you get your music out there and mm -hmm. you're connecting and the, the bigger your fan base can become, that's success. Whether it's 10 or 10,000 people, if you're reaching those people and you're feeling good about it, then you, you've done it well. You sound like, to me, uh, as a traditionalist, yes. you believe in the, uh, the down home, the very basics of life. I do. Would that be fair? Yep, it's totally fair. And that's reflective of your music. It is, yeah. So what's, what's in you, what's natural, not trying to dress it up or make it something that it's not. I think if you go with the grain, not against the grain, never mind what's out there, just stay true to yourself and just just let it happen and and you'll know because you'll feel you'll feel that positive energy and yeah. it just kind of work that way rather than if something feels good you know in your gut then then do it if you're not true to yourself and to your audience they'll see that exactly they'll pick up on it they do yeah yeah totally yeah is it true you're a yodeler yes <laughs> <laughs> You've done your homework. That word. A yodeler. <laughs> yeah. That's very traditional. I've been labeled, yeah. <laughs> yeah, traditional. Um, my dad, I mean, growing up as a, as a kid, my dad would yodel and uh, being Slovenian descent, so where his village was, was right on the Austrian border. So we had a lot of that oh influence. My. And, he, and he'd uh, do a lot of the cowboy yodeling too. And he'd, he'd no kidding. Me. So I just kind of osmosis right and picked it up and it, it was something that always came natural to me and, and it's a good feeling it's a happy sound yeah feeling. so and it's it's what kind of fits with what you say say true to yourself um and that's part of what i do and people are happy i love it it's addicting you it's love like, you i mean you you genuinely love what you do i do i do i totally do it's not like about getting the next CCMA award or the next Juno award. Yeah. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah. If you do, great. That's part of the, the gravy. But to me, if you do the music, you do what's in your heart, you do what you you feel is right, you connect to the people, if you mm -hmm. help people, if they're happy and you're healing people whichever way, then that to me is the success. What are you singing for us? All the rest, pardon me? What are you singing for us? I'm singing a song. Um, it's gonna be on my upcoming album. It's actually a little bit of story behind it, but it came in at the last minute when I was okay. looking at all the different songs. I thought I had picked all my songs, and this kind of came in at the last minute, and I think things happen for a reason. It was a song written about Alzheimer's. Mm. So uh, my mom has Alzheimer's disease, and uh, when I heard it, I, I personally connected to it, and I thought, no, I've got to put it on the CD. So it now became a, a uh, bonus track on the album. So I'll be nice. singing that song. It's called Shadows, okay. written by uh, Lonnie Ratliff out of Nashville. And I immediately connected with it, and it's it's just very important, so we're putting it on. That's going to be on the new CD, and Love it. and I'll be performing that uh, today and promoting it further um, as we go. So yeah, quite excited. Thanks. You're welcome, Mary Resick.
they should be her golden years but something out of place is here when the shadows come and her mind slips away she'll speak of things that happened back in 57 and can't recall what happened yesterday Tonight she looks around her at strangers that surround her. One lady calls her mama, starts to cry. The shadows keep returning, and as she nears her final journey, she drifts away and relives a young girl's life. Daddy, won't you saddle up my little shed? the field, visit Grandma out of me. All my chores are done. Mama says she doesn't need me. She's canning while plum jelly, and I'd just be in her way. Not a battle of a choosing, but it's one that she's losing. They know she'll never make it through the night. Loved ones gather around her. That's how the angels found her. She went smiling as she walked into the light. Daddy, won't you saddle up my little shed? Visit Grandma out of me. Daddy, did you see the poster down at Wilson's Grocer? Bob Wills is playing for a dance at the schoolhouse Saturday. These should have been her golden years, but something out of place is here when the shadows come and there is no escape. Hey, <laughs> hey,